Okay guys, so we have a surprise this morning. You know we're going someplace non Disney. Yep. Yeah. You know we're going in a car. All right, are you ready? Yeah. Should we count down three, two, one, then we'll tell them? Sure. Okay. Three, two, two one. one. Legoland! Um, can we buy Legos for me there? We'll, tell, we'll take a look. You guys, they have a water park. They have a water park. Okay. Hi, Skyliner. Good morning. Mommy, and now, we're exiting about. Disney property, heading to the real world. Um, Look at that. Can you see it? We made it! Keep right onto Keo Road. Then the destination is on your left. Ooh, cool. And we We're here. Lego Movie World. This is the yeah, newest we land. Into, we okay, now we're ready. Alright. There's Battle of Bricks. Alright. Oz! Spaceship! Alright, I think we want to go to that. gentler version of Soren, but something about the video and the curvature of the screen it being tighter and smaller I got kind of motion sick a little bit like so I'm gonna sit out the next ride not like bad but just a little bit you know and it's like ooh um, <laughs> so we'll see how we do with all these kind of more kitty kitty rides our kids loved it so if you have kids younger kids like elementary age kids they're gonna love it for sure they are just thrilled with everything they're seeing, but for me, it was a little... Unikitty's Disco Drop. Here they go. Unikitty Drop, there's Randall. He's rocking out, he loves it. He's very happy with the music. Big spaceship fans. Come over here. 
Come stand right here. Go, go. Go stand in front so we can take a picture. Stand in front here and smile. Cheese. All right, we're going into kingdoms. And I had the Black Monarch's castle um, when I was a kid, which I adored. So I guarantee you, if I were a little kid, this would be my land. Okay, you ready? Okay. Okay, we just got off the dragon. This wagon. It was cute. Yes. It was cute. Um, so far, I'm, I like the Unikitty one the best. I'm so, actually part of the my one. only kind of thing that like I'm struggling with is they keep making me put down my purse that like is attached to me that now I understand like at Universal they provide you with a locker and then you lock up your valuables but they're like making me take off my purse and then they have a sign up that says we're not responsible for lost or stolen items it's like well then let me hold my valuables <laughs> so what's it gonna be so I feel like we're starting to get into the situation where he's gonna have to take them on rides and I'm gonna just have to hold valuables or something no, no. like it's I, I don't I like all my I don't like the, the idea that like just let me be responsible for my things you know so that kind of is a little frustrating but but the weights are very short for everything are short. so we can do a lot of stuff Yay. so next we're going to go check out some more stuff can we take stuff with us today you want to yeah there you got one the targets are the little things with the light Cute. I'm a skeleton striker. I'm a spider zapper and you're a junior adventurer. Alright, that was really fun. driving school which is adorable and the kids loved it but oh my gosh the slowest loading attraction we've ever done really took a long time so you know just be forewarned hello hello 
we are at Kick and Chicken. Kick and Chicken. Yes. Um, and Chicken, I kick And I'm very happy they have an indoor yes. seating area. Yeah. And the food is and not, they have a restaurant. The it's food is not bad. Yeah, and the bathroom is inside food's, in the AC. Food's okay. Not not bad. Many options. No, but, limited yeah. menu, but our kids are eating, so yeah. that's good. Yeah, that's about all we can ask for. Yeah. <laughs> it's it, yeah. right now. I think so far my favorite ride is the Unikitty Drop Tower. I didn't go on it. I think it's mostly because of the music. Oh, yes. <laughs> because it had like, kind of like some techno techno music. Yeah. It was like, it's bumping. Yeah. And other, other than that, well, we everything's have, been uh, comfortable for we, me. Yeah, <laughs> this is like... I, this is the park for tiny heinies. <laughs> yes. Because I'm not that big of a person, and some of them I'm like, oh, I barely fit in it, and then there was one that you couldn't even get into. No, no. I mean, I don't, I'm not like that big. Okay. It was a little rough. Yeah. Okay. So. I'd like to give a shout out to the MVP of every single vacation we ever take our stroller. Our and stroller. the last several, ever since we have outgrown our double. Um, City Select. This has been the stroller. It was Bob. We had the stroller it. Had, of choice. This was the stroller when we had just one child, and now it is the stroller that has the 70 pound weight limit. We love it. It doesn't hold up the smallest, but it is a workhorse, and we load this baby up with everything. And you know, it's probably going to get retired maybe after this year, maybe after next. Let's put it this way: we're probably putting like 130 pounds on it. Yeah. So thank you, Bob, for good all job. the good stroller times. We salute you. For this, we salute you. For this, we thank you. Okay, we just finished the Lego Lego Captain Brickbeard's Lego Water Sports Stunt Spectacular. Spe whatever I don't know. it's called. We'll put no, the actual it's called, name beneath. It's yeah. called uh, And it's a great, great show. Uh, what I love about this show is that it combines Lego. And, and it, also there was a part. You! Yeah, no, but it combines Lego and it still harkens back to Cypress Gardens. Cypress Gardens and yeah. um, all the stuff that, you know, the heritage of this place. So I think that's really cool. So you should definitely check this out if you're check in Lego Land. So this is the Cypress Gardens entrance, and here is one of the Southern Bells in Lego. So they've restored the botanical gardens of Cypress Gardens in the connection of native plants, and there are really cool exotic species. There's, yeah. Let's walk in here for just a minute, and then we'll come back around. A bit hot to spend a lot of time out here right now, but let's just walk across this bridge for a minute. But when you see like you know old videos 
of, you know, sort of that kind of bathing beauties, water skiing sort of thing. This is like where they did that. That's where this would normally be recorded. I don't know, we're not gonna go real far. We're just gonna look a little bit. This is beautiful in here. Yeah, and they had the Southern Bells, is what they called them. And there's actually like a pool out here that's shaped like Florida. There's a pool out here that's shaped like the state of Florida. Yeah, and I guess it was used in some film or something like that. I don't really know the, I don't really know the details, but I just wanted to kind of step into here and just, I just wanted to get a little sense of what it's like in here because I know I probably won't be back here again. And I just wanted to kind of see what it looks like. Oh yeah, and there's another one of the Lego bells over there. Anyway, this would be, if it was like nice weather and it wasn't really hot, this would be a lovely, lovely place to take a walk and just kind of see the sights. You look up and it's just really beautiful. It's really pretty. Is this the way that dad went? Yeah, he'll meet us. Sounds like you guys are ready for water park. There he is. Here we are. So here is the entrance to the Legoland Water Park. This is what we want to do. Oh yeah, here we go. Oh wow, this is so cool. What is this, Mini, mini Land? Wow, this is something else. Oh my gosh, look at that. Oh, they're doing like a marine mammal show. <laughs> that elephant just shot me with water. Okay, this is Mini Land. Mini Vegas. We've got Luxor. We'll have to, it's a lot to see here. It's pretty cool. Oh, we've got a mini Tropicana. Mini MGM Grand. Yeah, back at Mini New York, New York. Oh, is this supposed to be? This is the Casino New York, New York. That's what it's supposed to be. And there's the Paris Casino and the Venetian. Yeah, this is really cool. The Guggenheim. These are huge, by the way. They're like a full story tall. Yep, the Chrysler building. Grand Central Terminal. Oh my gosh. How great is this? They're having a pride parade. Oh, that's so fun. They have the flags all over. Oh, and we've got like some some of the different flags around. Oh, that's really neat. You like this part? I do. The Hollywood Bowl. Oh, and there's the Chinese theater. They have a replica of this at Disney. Chinese theater. It's really cool. And the buildings again are really huge. Washington Monument, DC, I'm going around this way. 
Capitol building. Capitol building. So the Capitol building, the way it ought to look with a lizard on the light, <laughs> sitting on the light post. <laughs> of course, why not? And there is a marching band. Oh, we got Gotta to love the marching band. Activate the marching band. Do they do? Oh my gosh. I like the security guys like on the roof. Lincoln Memorial. Ships. All kinds of cool stuff. Pirates. Oh, look at these pirate ships, man. These are awesome. Wow. And the ship goes around. That's just so cool. St. Augustine. I know you like that. Oh, yeah, that's St. Augustine. Oh, my God. Yeah. That is accurate. Oh. Got, got a bunch of the rockets. Got a Ken I know. Kennedy Space Center. Really cool. Here's the, yep, the entrance. I haven't been there since I, in a long time, since I was a kid. Oh, wow. So cool. They have chosen their steeds. Woo! Let the spinning begin. our overall review of Legoland as yeah, we so enjoy these delicious... We are wrapping up our day here at the Apple Fries place Apple and we did a nice ride on the carousel. Um, well, we didn't do everything. No, we didn't do everything. There's a lot here. There are a lot of small attractions here. What do you think? Yeah, lots of small attractions. Definitely enough to keep you busy all day. Maybe even like a day and a half. If we hadn't done the water park, yeah. we could have hit probably like absolutely everything we wanted to see. Yeah. We spent probably two and a half hours. There were a few, the water park. A few major rides that were uh, under reef. Um, and we didn't do the Battle of Bricksburg because <laughs> it looked like you'd get totally drenched. I know you're saying, um, but you did the water park. I know, but it was a different part of the day. It's, it's a good park. You know, it's, it's like, I do love all of their like Lego comedy. So, will we be back to Legoland? Well, tough to say. It kind of, you know, we have to rent a car and it, it you know, takes up some time and money. You know, we have to buy tickets where we're annual pass holders at Disney, so it's no additional cost to just spend the day at Disney. So, you know, I, I think it's definitely worth checking out. If you haven't done it before, I would definitely check it out. And if you have little kids that enjoy Legos, it's definitely worth checking yeah. out. They had a really fun time. As an adult, it's not where I'm not dying to come back for another day. And if our kids would happen, yes, our kids would happen to do another day. I think it's a lovely park. Yes. And there's a lot to enjoy. What I don't, what it doesn't pack is like the emotional punch that Disney does. Disney has this storytelling element that it really hits you, like really gets you. This is just kind of cute. But that's good too. I yeah. like that too. All right. I think we're okay. going to get ready. We're going to shop a little bit and then do the strike. Yeah. Oh, fireworks. Look, guys. One more time for two miles.